a winner! For some, it's a dream come true, winning the lottery. But what's it really like to win big? This is where the magic happens, David. Tonight, we're taking you where only lottery winners normally get to go to see what happens first when you have a big winning ticket. David Highfield was at lottery headquarters and got a chance to hang out in the winner's circle. David. Yeah, Ken and Christine, this was a lot of fun, and who knew the winner's circle even existed? But we went to Harrisburg, and I got to kind of live out a fantasy. What would it be like if you won the lottery? We learned there's more to it than you probably realize. Winning millions. Yeah, most of us have probably daydreamed about it. Maybe you'd buy a mansion or a big yacht or maybe a whole island if you want enough. Well, I'm getting to live out a fantasy at lottery headquarters. Let's pretend I win big on a scratch-off ticket. I am here to claim a lottery prize. Since it's a fantasy, I prefer to think I won at least several million. I have it on pretty good recommendation that this is a winning ticket. First, I meet someone from the claims department. Hi, I'm David. Welcome. I understand you're a big winner. That's what I understand, too. Okay. <laughs> she explains I need to sign the ticket, that it's considered a legal document. She takes my driver's license and disappears to validate the ticket. I know this is fake, and still, I'm kind of excited right now. And she returns with good news. Congratulations, you're a big winner. That's what I've been waiting yes, to hear. Yes, yes, it's a happy day. <laughs> if you agree to do some publicity, Gary Miller's the next person you meet. Welcome to the winner's circle. This is the happiest room in Pennsylvania. Come on in. This is the room where lottery claimants' lives change. This is the room where it sinks in that things are about to get very interesting for you. The room has vintage lottery machines, a big backdrop for photos, and pictures of previous winners. It's a room where emotion sometimes spills over. Everything happens here in the winner's circle. You get laughing, you get crying. I had a winner hyperventilate once and had to take them to the parking lot to walk it off. I guess we were both smiling, smiling and crying at the same time. Carl and Janet Zott of White Oak know about the winner's circle. They won a Mega Millions jackpot and took home almost 87 million. But they didn't rush in to claim their prize. They actually waited 100 days, and during that time, they did their homework. It is a long time to sit on good news, but uh, uh, my wife and I decided that we wanted to do this right. They hired lawyers and talked to financial advisors before claiming the prize. You're under no obligation to do a news conference if you're a jackpot winner. However, Miller says most jackpot winners want to do one to get publicity out of the way. While winners' names are public record, only a first name and last initial are listed on the lottery website to protect them from scammers. So so David, congratulations. While you get to pose with a big souvenir check, as for an actual check... Do I get a check here? Do I get cash? What do I get? We are not able to write you a check this today. I'm sorry. Your check comes four to six weeks later. And while my fantasy has been wonderful, it's back to reality when an actual winner shows up to claim her prize. How much did you win? 100000 Holy cow. That's fantastic. Marianne Henniger won big on a scratch-off. She's whisked off to the winner's circle, where she poses with one of those monster-sized checks. And get this, she's actually won before. I'm thinking you have some luck. You don't mind shaking my hand. I'm a, I can get a little of your luck. Now, if you're thinking, why isn't there a balloon drop or confetti or maybe some cocktails in the winner's circle? I like how you think, but none of that happens. After all, it's a government agency and they want to keep things kind of low key with regard to all of that. And while this was a big fantasy for me, mm -hmm. I did get to walk away with this big check. Mm -hmm. Sometimes now, they really have a real name and money. Can you check that? Can you cash yeah, that if it's a real name and money? I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, and certainly not this whenever <laughs> it just says your name on the top of it. But they will send you a regular size check in the mail. And you should know if you plan on winning that they <laughs> deduct 25% right off the top for federal taxes right. and in Pennsylvania they also deduct anything a winner might owe in delinquent child support before they even write you the check uh, but since this was just a fantasy for me I will get no check and I will just get to keep right, well, this. Good luck finding an ATM large enough to accept right. that. <laughs> yeah, that could be difficult. Pretty massive. All right. yeah. Thank you David. Sure.